Hello, hello, hello. Today we're going to be talking about your business vision. What is your vision for your business? How to do it and how to use it. My name is Ross Jones. I am a business coach. I work with business owners and their teams to help them achieve their dreams and goals, whatever they may be, by helping them overcome the challenges that may be getting in the way. Today we're all about business vision. What is your vision for your business? What do you stand for? What's the purpose of your business? Now in my experience, when people come to me for help, I find that this is something that they've completely overlooked, which is understandable because when we start our business, we just want to be making some money, don't we? However, having a real clarity about your business vision can make everything so much easier. It is the foundation of your business, and I'll explain why. There's two key reasons or uh, value to having a, uh, a business vision documented. Number one is as a motivator. So when you feel really strongly about the vision for your business, about its purpose, what you stand for, that is going to help you keep going when the tough times come. When things are going wrong, it's what's going to keep you going all the same. Okay, so we all know that business is tough, there's challenges every day, but if we've got a big enough purpose for our business, then we're going to keep going regardless. So it's key as a motivator and it's key that everybody around you is bought into your vision too, so they can keep motivated too. The second uh, purpose of your vision is as a magnet. So when you're really clear about your business vision, your purpose, what you stand for, you're going to attract the right customers, the right suppliers, the right people to join your team when the time comes. By having real clarity on what you stand for, that is going to help you attract the right people. So they are the two main, re uh, main purposes for your vision, as a motivator and a magnet. So what is your vision? Well actually it comes in a suite, your vision, your mission and your culture statement. That's what you need to have documented as the foundation for your business, that your business can grow on. So we need to get real clear clarity about your vision. Your vision is the top of the mountain, it's where you're heading. It's some big bold statement, what do you stand for? What are you about? Get real clear on that. So Disney says it's about making people happy. And Google's is about giving access to the world's information with one click. What's your purpose? What's your vision? Then your mission. Your mission is how you do it. It's like the roadway up the mountain. How, how we do this is how we're going to get that vision achieved. And then your culture statement or is your values, the values of your business. What do you stand for in terms of your values? And your values are, are not just words, they're things that, you're, that you and your team can demonstrate through the behaviours you do every day. So that's what, and, and your values are who we have to be to get up that mountain. So you've got your vision at the top, your mission is a roadway, and your culture statement is who we have to be to get to the top of the mountain. So how do we do it? Well, if you are a solopreneur or just starting out in your business, now is the ideal time. Get a big piece of paper, set some time aside, and really play with this. You know, it's, it's having fun, isn't it? What do you stand for? Just sketch it out. What's your mission? What's your culture statement? If you've got a team and you've never done this before, there's a great opportunity to get them bought into the vision for your business. So do some, have a brainstorming event with your team and decide what is it that you want to be known for. We are, it could just be as simple as, we are the go-to marketing agency in Yorkshire. Just something as simple as that. You just choose your sector, what is your business about, and the location that you want to be known for. It could just be as simple as that. So get real clarity on your vision for your business. And then what do you have to do? So what you have to do will usually start with, we do this by. So you want to be the number one go-to marketing agency. We do this by giving great service, coming up with creative ideas, whatever it is your, your mission statement is about. And then your culture statement is your values. So you maybe have a little brainstorming of all the values that are important to you all in your team. And it should be at like a minimum of five, maximum of 14 is probably the maximum you should have. What are your values for your business? And as I said, there needs to be something clear that people can demonstrate. So if, you're, if one of your values is great teamwork, can people demonstrate that? Can you catch them demonstrating that value on a daily basis? And once you've done it, it needs to be documented and put somewhere proud. So for example, 
I have mine, it's, uh, I have it in frame, I have it visible in my office. So where's, what do you do with yours? Is it going to be on your wall? Are you going to give it to every member of your team so they've got it visible every day? So that's what you do with it. And then how do you use it? How do you use it? So we said it's a magnet. So it's a magnet. If you have it on your promotional materials, like your website, you should always have it on your job adverts so that you attract the right people to your team. And during an interview, you might want to ask them, what is it you bring that was going to help us achieve the vision for our business? Really align everything to your VMC in your conversations when you're taking on new customers, taking on new member of staff, looking for new suppliers. Anybody that comes into your business in any way needs to be aligned with your VMC for an easy life. Because if they're not, that's when things go wrong. If your team aren't aligned with your vision, then that's when you get disengaged employees. If your customers aren't, that's when you get bad customers. And when I say bad customers, I say those customers, we've all had them, I'm pretty sure. The ones who complain all the time, they take up all your time, they don't pay your bills, they are the customers you don't want. You want customers who want to work with you because of your VMC. So that's how you do it and that's what you do with it. The other thing as a business leader is that you need to be reminding your team about the vision every single day. Keep them focused on the vision. And that's what's going to get through the tough times as well as the good. And uh, that's your VMC. So I hope that's been useful. Let me know how you get on. If you need some help coming up with it, then do get in touch. Please subscribe to my show and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.